Hello. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I want to thank the UUCB for having us for this casual concert. That's kind of what everybody says. I want to thank the UUCB and Jesse for a lot more than just having us for this one concert, because this, this production of The Magic Flute has been uh, a lot more uh, from the church than, than just this one event. Um, thank you guys for, for being here today. Uh, really, really excited to get to share some of the uh, some of the show that uh, we're going to be putting on uh, next week. So um, my name is Alex Huddleston. I am the stage and film director of Soto Voce. Um, uh, da, 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 da. We are Soto Voce. We are a new opera company, and we like to uh, put on productions of of um, canonical operas in very uh, unique ways. This is actually our first canonical opera. Our first ever opera was Jesse's own opera, original opera, The Second Sight, that was performed here in I forget, uh, 2021. I always forget. It feels like a million years ago. Um, uh, so yes, I would like to introduce all of our players here. So we have Julia Ann Cordani, who plays the Queen of the Night, the star flaming queen of the night. We have Taryn, Helen, and Beth. Taryn Gehrig, Helen Lowry, and Beth White, who played the three ladies. Those are the queen's like main henchmen. The queen, of course, is the primary antagonist, the villain of the show. Um, we have Jesse Downs, who plays Pamina. She's also the founder of the company and does so much work to bring these shows to you. Uh, we have Brandon Mecklenburg, who plays Papageno. We have Jonathan Vogtel, our accompanist extraordinaire. He's also been helping out with a whole lot of uh, various production aspects throughout this whole thing. So he's been much more than just a pianist, but he's also an extraordinary pianist. Um, and last, we have Tyler Huck, who plays Tamino. Okay. So, <clears throat> we're going to begin with Tamino. So, if you guys want to go ahead. So, the magic flute. At its core, this show is a coming of age story. Um, we follow Tamino and we follow Pamina as they go through uh, various adventures and various trials and tribulations uh, in order to grow as people. Um, so the first aria that we're gonna share with you today is sung by Tamino, who is a young prince, and you can tell by the little, little circlet he's got on there, yeah. <laughs> um, he finds himself at the beginning of the show in a strange land, attacked by terrible creatures, He's lost, he's confused, and he's frightened, up until the moment that he is shown a picture of the princess Pamina. He falls in love instantly, and he sings this song.
Thank you, Tyler. Um, so this next number involves Papageno and Pamina. So if Papageno, if you're out there, let me invite you to come on back in here. There he is. <laughs> so Papageno is one of the more iconic characters from the Magic Flute. He is a bird catcher, but as you can see, he is kind of himself a bird. <laughs> um, he is a very beloved character from this show. Uh, very, very funny, but he's also got some real tragic elements. <laughs> you're, you're doing really well, though. Um, you see, as far as he knows, he's the only one of his kind, the only Papageno in the world, and yet, at the same time, he feels so lonely. Why would he feel lonely if he was the only one? Doesn't make any sense. So logically, there must be somebody out there for him, right? Um, yes, he's so lonesome he could cry. Over here we have Pamina, the sweet and innocent character. Um, she is also the daughter of the Queen of the Night, who is our main villain, as I said. Um, so even though she's sweet and innocent, she longs for a companion of her own. Uh, this next duet is Papageno and Papa, uh, Pamina sharing their hopes for finding love. Thank you. 
Wonderful guys, thank you so much. So, now I want to tell you a little bit about what's making our production of the Magic Flute so unique and special. Um, so, strictly speaking, the Magic Flute is an example of what's called a Zingspiel instead of an opera. And this means that in between these sung numbers, such as what you've just heard, there are traditionally these spoken dialogues. Um, and we saw in those spoken dialogues an opportunity to do something really, really special with them. So rather than going with the, uh, the original uh, uh, script as written in 1791, filled with rather, uh, we would politely say problematic uh, <laughs> plot elements, uh, we've decided to really get our hands dirty with the story and really, uh, really uh, make something new. So we've written an original script in English rather than in German. And not only that, we've been producing short films. So there will be filmed segments, which is why we have this lovely screen placed, uh, put in place here, uh, interwoven with the sung musical numbers. Um, so this next um, bit that I want to share with you is going to be an example of uh, one of these filmed segments that we've produced. This happens uh, getting towards the end of the show, so I'm going to sort of uh, uh, situate you guys a little bit so you understand what's going on. So at this point in the story, Tamino, whom you've already met, has decided to join Sarastro's temple. And he's uh, decided to begin the grueling trials, the trial by silence, uh, in order to become a man, in order to become a member of the society. His friend, Papageno, uh, is rather unwillingly also a participant in this whole endeavor of his. Meanwhile, the queen is scheming, the queen of the night is scheming to destroy Sarastro's temple. Helping her is the turncoat Monostatos. So, a little bit about Monostatos. Um, to, not put, to not beat around the bush, uh, in the original show, it's a character in blackface. We're not doing that. We are, um, <laughs> we have rebuilt the character from the ground up, our brand new Monostatos, played brilliantly by Sean Doyle. 
um, he is always trying to basically be any other character except himself. If another character is speaking, he's mouthing the words that they're saying as they're saying it. If they're gesticulating in any way, then he's also doing those same kind of gestures. In short, he is an actor without a character. <laughs> if that sounds a little strange, if that doesn't make sense, I, I think you'll get it when, when you see it. Um, so with that, I just want to make sure that our players are ready. Are you guys ready? They sound like they're there. Okay, we'll trust that they're ready. All right, we're going to watch now Dialogue Age. much less burza than I expected. I don't think it's burza at all. So you want to join their order? You're right. Did we betray the queen? Uh, are we not on her side anymore? No. Hey, she's gonna be really mad the next time she sees us. Friend, I will not be going back. And you're not being alone with her. Okay, Tamina. Lead on. It's a man bird. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Really, look. Okay. You can't just run away from the queen. You need more in your life, Papageno, than fanging photos. Do I? And moping about your lack of a Papageno. Oh. I do so long for a Papageno. Enter here. This is the room of silence. A step further, and you shall be bound not to speak. It will be difficult. You will likely see Pamina, but you must not speak to her. Are you ready to enter? Tamino! The room of silence? Will you enter as well? You know what? No thanks. I'll see you later. Papageno! Tamino! Told you! You are a most peculiar creature. A woman bird, very similar in appearance and demeanor, is a member of our society. Yes! But you can't meet her, I'm afraid. No. Unless you went through the trials with Tamino. Yes! You must be completely silent. No speaking. No singing. Nothing. No. No singing. I thought this was an opera. The Order of Isis is destroyed. The Order of Osiris will soon be no more. The temple will be reduced to ashes. That wretched fool Zarastro will be defeated. All will be eternal night, and will you stop? My queen, I will do whatever you wish. I will not. I will not lose control of this situation. Pamina. She will come back. Once Sarastro is... <laughs> you
You know the temple. Every brick. And you can show us its weaknesses. Within a moment. Wait here. There are some recent developments I need to discuss with the three of you, privately. Is he still doing it? Oh my god. How could this happen? You led them to the three spirits, and now they're beginning their trials? You thought that you meant for them we to. We were trying to understand your... Your wishes were to give Tamino the flute and Papageno the bell. To get to the temple. Enough! You must go there yourselves! Now! Now, 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 now! You have to sabotage them! They cannot succeed in their trials! Stop them! Stop them! They cannot join the Zoroastro! What did you intend to happen, my lady? I intended for them to disappear. I love that number so much. <laughs> so in what you just saw, 
up there, we were shooting all over the church. And um, I mentioned that uh, John was more than just an excellent pianist. He was also a really helpful production assistant. So all sorts of things, you know, I would need a thing moved over th over somewhere and John would hop to it. Uh, we needed to clear all the hymnals out of the, out of the uh, pews here multiple times. And John did all of that with never a word of complaint. So I want to thank you for all of that work. I also want to thank Josh. Josh, incredibly helpful during this whole process. Will Botsford as well back there. Thanks so much, guys. Also, my assistant director, Zane Merritt, he couldn't be here today, but he performed one of these casual concerts uh, a few months ago, and again, very, very helpful. Um, so, yes, in what you just saw, we were all over the church, and I think of this production as many things, but it's really a celebration of the building, I think, because I just... I just love this space so much. It's just so gorgeous, the woodwork and everything. Um, so really trying to, you know, showcase, really trying to make the church almost like a character in, in the show itself. Um, yeah, so our next song is Pamina's famous aria. This comes towards the end of the show. At this point, Pamina and Tamino have met. They've fallen in love but Tamino has decided to become a member of the, of the temple. And now in order to do that, as was discussed in the number you just heard, he has to take a vow of silence. But Pamina needs his help. He's just made it clear to her that he can't help her. And so she sings this song, expressing her desperation, her loneliness, and her sorrow.
All right, we have uh, one more short film that we're gonna give you a sneak peek on and one more song to share with you. So what we've shared with you today is just a very small taste of the whole show. Um, so if this is interesting to you and you'd like to see the whole thing next Friday or Sunday, uh, we will we'll be selling tickets, right? We'll be selling tickets. So you can see Lewis or Phil out there or Leslie. There are plenty of people. Um, so to conclude, I would like to ask our incredible queen of the night to sing something rather incredible. Camino. Why was all this kept from me? What will happen to you? Tamino. Tamino. Mother? Mother? Hamina, my angel. Will you not come to me? I have missed you so. Where are you? Hamina, haven't you been freed? Can't you come back to me now? I am free. You met Tamino, so Tamino has rescued you. Yes, I love him, and he loves me too. That is wonderful. I knew that this would happen. I sent him to you for this reason. No father is sent to me again. Your father, Zorostro. Zorostro would do anything to inflict pain upon me. Oh, yes, it may hurt you like a sting, but it causes such anguish in me. He seeks to break me by hurting you. Mother. Come to me, darling. Quickly now. when I'm with father. Is mother lying to me? Amina, how could you do this to me? What? What did I do? Silence! You know exactly what you did, don't you, child? Brat! You would speak openly to Zarastro. You would betray me to him after all that I've done for you. After he stole you away and held you as prisoner. After he took your love away. And yet, you stay. Speak, child. Explain yourself. <gasps> it's all wrong. And he's my father.
choose.